Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay Will. We're going to try to do this in one take and I'm going to try to get straight to the point uh, and that's the way I'm going to do it. So, someone asked me a question on which phone I thought uh, out of these right here. I'm going to tell you which ones, you know, the strong suits uh, and the downsides probably of all of these three phones right here, which one I think is better in certain departments. You know how it goes. So first, let's start with the hardware. <clears throat> so I actually have them in order uh, of the hardware for which I would prefer, starting from left to right. So my left. So the Honor 8 uh, of these three phones, stellar hardware, hands down. This is, this is just great, a great piece of crafted uh, machinery. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call it. Uh, just ensure, uh, just in, in, in pure just, just looks and aesthetics, this is a beautiful device. I mean, the fact that it has the dual cameras, okay, that's great, but it actually adds a little bit of look to the device. Very sexy in the white. I think the white shows off all the curves of this phone. I've got that beautiful fingerprint reader with the little ring around, the accent ring around there like that. You've got the uh, laser autofocus, dual LED, phone, LED um, tone right there. Uh, for the flash, you got the dual camera set up there, and you've got a nice faint honor branding down there. You've got that single speaker, USB Type C, and a headphone jack on the bottom, uh, and the IR blaster up top. Just this overall package, the way it looks again, and this comes in multiple colors. Now, I just prefer the white, I think the white looks so elegant, it's just beautiful. I like how they hid the antenna lines on the side right there, so they can give you a flat slab of glass on the back. Then you've got these antenna lines down here at the bottom. Uh, this is a beautiful piece of hardware. Next, I give it to uh, the also famous beast in the house. This is a beautiful piece of hardware, but I, I give it second place to the Honor 8. It's, it's just really, really nice. The Honor 8 is. Uh, and this phone is beautiful as well with the highlights, rose gold highlights around the fingerprint reader and the camera and everything like that. And you've got it around the buttons here. And this phone wins in that department because it's got a little ridge power button, which I really like. This too is USB type C and has a headphone jack. <clears throat> but uh, this, this material is really nice and good on the hand. But overall, just feel in hand. Um, I really like the way this phone feels. Not so much size, just the, the craftsmanship ship of the product that's put together is very stellar on that one and the next bit robin kind of comes in last place it, it almost feels plasticky and like a toy next to both of these phones now i think this is a great piece of hardware don't get me wrong but next to these phones and believe it or not this is my first time sitting all three of these down right here because i've been using the robin is actually being used as my daily driver at the moment um and it's just it just doesn't feel as premium as these two phones right here uh, but, um, you know, you've got that fingerprint reader on the side. You've got the box, the box feel of the phone. It's not really bad, uh, but you still got USB Type-C. All of these have USB Type-C. Flat camera hump, that's really sweet. Headphone jack up top. And then you've got a notification down here at the bottom as well, too. But overall, the hardware definitely goes uh, to the Honor 8, in, in my opinion. And in my experience with handling all three of these phones right now that I'm doing this video, I really these were these were sitting on my desk and I've, I was using this one all day today, and uh, I've never really I was going to do some battles, but I just didn't really get around to doing it. And then someone in the tech talk group said, "Hey, um, Z Max or 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 Robin," and I was thinking, mm, "That'd be a nice video." Uh, so here I am doing it. <laughs> um, yeah, this this is definitely. Uh, the least favorite of these. Now, this hardware is better than several other phones, you know, that I could think of. But of these right here and this battle right here, this is the least favorite. Uh, and then the Honor is definitely a great piece of hardware. Now, the screen, as you can see, I have them all on the same hardware. And um, this is kind of where, you know, there's different areas here. And I don't have them in order of what I prefer. Uh, so let me let me do this. Let me set them all to half. Let me turn off auto and set them to half, and then you can kind of. All right. So there's there's half, and then I never keep this one on auto because it's so bright, as you can see there, it's super bright. Uh, look at that's just crazy. Um, that is amazing, man. ZTE just did wonders. It's just crazy how they did this. Uh, so let's set this to half. 
and there you go. So now I have them uh, set to half. Now, um, in terms of just sheer brightness and clarity, it definitely goes to the ZTE Z Max Pro. This is just one of the, I don't know how ZTE did this. They packed one of the most beautiful screens and it's also six inches too. That is just phenomenal. I don't see how they did it. Um, but this is the most beautiful screen of these three. Then comes the Honor 8 for, you know, for brightness. And the Honor 8 is a little bit more clear, but the overall, this is clear too, but the, and it's also brighter and more vivid. So it goes from the Z, 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 Z Max Pro, Honor 8, and then the, the Robin in last place. Now the Robin isn't a bad screen. It's just that when you match it up against these screens, now mind you, these are both 5.2. And in my eyes, uh, looking at these, I think the Honor is just a beautiful display. But then when you put it up against a phone like this, and this is even a six inch display, and it still is just so gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. It's so bright too. Um, that's just, I gotta turn it back down. This is just a bright, bright display. And that is where I keep that display. Now these two, I actually keep them on auto. Um, but uh, the, the Z Max is just, oh, it is just a stellar, stellar display. I mean, I have yet to see a phone six inches with a display as good as that for the value that this phone packs. This is just amazing. So if you notice here, what I've done is I've put them all back in their native skin. Like I, this is the only one that, that had the Pixel Launcher on it. I never put it on either one of these. Uh, but this, I had to put it back to Z Max's uh, native skin, which is just a regular uh, launcher here, but it's still a stock experience. So with that being said, of these three, I prefer a stock type launcher uh, for first preference. So of these three, I would definitely rank it pretty much the same as I did a moment ago. The ZTE Z Max Pro definitely comes in first place with that software experience, then the Honor 8, and then the next bit Robin. And you say, well, why the next bit Robin last again? This is just a different, um, again, there's some things about this software I don't like. And I said it in my uh, 72 hours video. I don't like that I can't remove these three dots here with the quick menu thing. I don't like that I can't do that. Um, that's just something that, and I, I don't like not being able to get five icons on here like this. Oh, five rows, I mean. I just love being able to hit, get five rows on there. And with the Pixel Launcher, I can do five on here. So if someone's got a way that I can do five on here with the Stock Launcher from ZTE, please leave a comment and, and share the love. I appreciate it. Uh, but that's one of the reasons I keep the Pixel Launcher on this one, because I can do five row icons. You can also do it with Nova Launcher, too. Uh, but this this software is buttery smooth. Uh, but I just prefer a stock experience overall when dealing with Android. Um, that's a preference, even though I like other skins like TouchWiz. I like it in the Honor 8 skin. It's, it's growing on me. I like it. And the next big skin isn't bad. It says that I can't get rid of these three dots right here, man. That's just lame. Why would you force that upon me? <laughs> Nonetheless, uh, of these, I rank them that way. ZT, Z Max Pro first, Honor 8 second. And um, last comes in the next bit, Robin. Now, let's talk about... Um, uh, um, I don't have my my list here in front of me. I'm trying to do this off the top of my head because I wanted to shoot this video out real quick. Uh, memory, memory options. So they uh, these two have an SD card slot, and this one does not. Uh, this one has 100 gigs of cloud storage, though. I will give it that, and it has 32 gigs built on. This one has 32, and this one has 32. This one has a 64 gig option along with an SD card as well. Uh, but the advantage that the ZTE Z Max Pro has is adaptive storage. So I can put a 256 gig card in here and boom, I'm joined all together. One felt swoop, I'm good. The Honor 8 does have an SD card slot, um, but I don't know if the options are there. I didn't even try it yet actually because on my other Honor phones, my uh, Huawei phones, adaptive storage, adaptive storage is not available. So um, here again, you know, I rank them in the order that I, I, I feel like I it's working for me, which is this one first, this one second, and this one third. And this one gets third because cloud storage is not a favorite of everyone. I use cloud storage, but if I have an SD card, I don't mind using it, you know? So I have the ability, I don't have to worry about the cloud on either one of these. And this one has the adaptive storage or adaptive, whatever you want to name it. I can put an SD card in there and uh, join it up. And I believe the honors can do that too. I, I think they can. Shout out in the comments if you if you know that it can. If you have the Honor 8 and you've put an SD card in there and combined the storage. I'm pretty sure it can, though, to be honest. I just haven't tried it in this phone. 
Um, but that's the ranking for it. So maybe I can call this one a tie because I'm really not sure. I didn't try yet. I'm just being honest. Either way, this definitely is on top um, uh, of all these three experiences at the moment. Now, sound quality on, on all of these phones, this is kind of a no-brainer. Um, the It's definitely going to go here first and then here and then here. Uh, this comes in last place. This is one of the lowest speakers. It's, it's not of these three. It's like really low uh, But this is definitely a loud speaker with that, that Adobe sound on there uh, But this has dual front firing speaker. So it's kind of a there's no way to lose that battle between these right here This has a back firing speaker and a bottom firing speaker But this speaker is still really loud compared to this speaker on this phone right here Now let's talk about uh, something that's kind of another no-brainer here uh, camera. So if I had to put these in order, I'd put them like this, meaning number one, number two, and number three. And this out of these phones right here, uh, the Honor 8 just smashes. Uh, the fact that it has these dual cameras, that's just one thing, but it's not even that they're dual cameras. This camera is phenomenal. It is really, really good. I wouldn't lie to you. So um, camera quality wise, this is definitely really good. And this one actually surprised me. Uh, that it was actually a little bit better than, than the Z Max Pro. I was kind of surprised at that. Uh, but nonetheless, this is the order that I would put them in. Definitely worlds ahead of both of these phones in the camera department. Um, it is that good. This, this camera is phenomenal. And this one is good too. Don't get me wrong. It's really good. So um, camera quality, yeah, it's definitely going to go like this. Definitely. Now, if I had to rate these for price um, and value, I'm going to put them like this. I wasn't moving them before, but I think it's just easier for me to do it that way. Value uh, definitely is going to go to Z Max Pro uh, 1, 2, and 3. Uh, and this one, the reason this one gets a 3 is because it was a Kickstarter, so they don't have a foot on the ground yet. Even though I caught this for a sale price of $135, uh, these price, this phone is priced very reasonably. I mean, it's got four gigs of RAM. Um, it's got the Kirin 950, which is a monster. So of these, this one performs the best uh, as far as like speed and stuff like that. Uh, but the overall, you know, it's probably going to be a, a mixed bag with, with these two right here. Um, they're both fast, uh, but benchmarks show this one way ahead, I guess I'll say. That, that's what I'm trying to get across. Benchmarks don't mean much to me, but techies might love that. So this one definitely benchmarks close to 100,000. Uh, and that's really good. Um, but um, if I had to rank them, um, I think this is the order that I'm going in for that. So uh, value, that is. This can be as low as 39 bucks. That's just amazing. I don't know how ZTU is able to pull that off. And this one, I caught it on sale. Like It was on sale. I'll just say it was on sale for, for I think, well, was it $199 or $299 or something like that? But um, that's still a great price even for this phone. And then this phone right here, uh, I caught it on sale for $135. Um, but um, all I can say is that value, um, shout out to Anthony Night Tech for making that special guest appearance. Um, value is definitely going to the Z Max. Oh my gosh. Sorry guys. This is why I hate to have things so on live videos. Um, ZT wins that hands down. Value uh, over both of these is just, you know, that's just how it is, man. Um, Anthony, come on, man. Give me a break. I'm trying to shoot a video. <laughs> Night Tech, come on, dude. Um, value, this is definitely a win. A definite win. It's just a win. There's not many phones on the market, quote unquote, flagships or not. They're not touching the value that this one packs. That's just what it is. Let's jump over to battery life. And, um, oh my gosh. <laughs> and uh, I hope he watches this too so he can see what he's doing to me. Uh, let's talk about battery life. Because my battery life is actually running out on my camera. I'll close with battery life. Um, and I'll leave them in this order. These are kind of a tie though. These are kind of a tie. Yeah. These are a bit of a tie. So which one of these would I choose out of, out of all of these? I got to give it to the, um, to the Z Max Pro. Z Max Pro has more of a complete package for value and um, uh, its performance is good. Um, just everything about it, it's very a very appealing package, and and that's just 
what it is, man. The ZMAX Pro um, takes the win in this one, and, and this one doesn't take a major L. It's just that um, this is just such a complete package. I could recommend this to anybody, you know? But the advantages of these two, they're unlocked. This one's not. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.